As we saw in an earlier video, we can represent the set of real numbers graphically using the number line. Every single point on this line corresponds to a real number. And every real number corresponds to some point on this line. Then if we arbitrarily mark our origin and label it with the number 0, to the right of 0 we have all the positive real numbers. And to the left of 0 we have all the negative real numbers. All the positive or the negative real numbers are then placed on this number line according to what is called a unit distance, which is the distance from our origin to the number 1 or from 0 to 1. So number 2 would be 2 unit distances away from 0. 3 would be 3 unit distances away from 0. 0.5 or 1 half would be half a distance away from 0. Negative 1 would be 1 unit distance away from 0 on the left. So this way every single real number can be placed on the number line. Now once we have our number line, look at it. We notice that the numbers on the left are less than the numbers on the right. For example, 1 is less than 2. 2 is less than 3. 3 is less than pi. Of course, pi is approximately 3.14, so it's going to go about here. And we notice that 3 is to the left of pi and pi is less than 4. So on the number line, the numbers to the left are less than the numbers to the right. What this is saying about the set of real numbers is that this set is ordered. If you select any two real numbers that are random, for example, I select 10 and 101, then 1 real number is less than or equal to the other real number. In this case, 10 is less than or equal to 101. 